boom, it's your boy Colorado Marley. What's going down, everybody? We're back for another one of the reactions. You dig? I'm back. Yeah, <laughs> we back, baby. It feels so good. We back with another one of them Oliver Anthony joints. I had a lot of people hit me up after the last one we did. Uh, said, yo, do, do the Richmond, uh, or Richmond North of Richmond, I think is what it's called. Yeah, yeah. Richmond North of Richmond. Yeah. So let's go. I've been selling my soul, <laughs> working all day, overtime hours. Bullshit pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shit. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, boy is speaking from the heart. Let me start that over real quick. Hold up, baby. I like where this is going. Hold on. I've been selling my soul. Yeah. Working all day. Thanks. Overtime hours. Oof. Bullshit pay so I can Thanks. sit out. Bro, that right, that, like when he first said it, I was like, ooh, and I had to let it just ride for a second. But, bro, I feel that. I felt it. I live it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dang. I work too hard, like many of y'all work too hard for a little too pay and you know what I'm saying? Not enough hours in a day to make sure you complete everything. You know what I'm saying? Man, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this one. This one about to hit. Oh yeah, Oliver. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it coming, baby. I like it. And waste my life away. Drag back home and drown my troubles away. Oh. It's a damn shame. Damn what shame. The world's gotten to. You know what? And that's real because we I think we all have those moments where we just, you know, we get lost in our own little worlds and our own little dreams and wishes and hopes and just be like, man, if only I could just wake up and just, you know what I'm saying, have all the money I need to just live and be free. You know what I'm saying? Some of, we just all have those dreams of just, you know something amazing happening just for whatever reason you know what i'm saying whether whether it was a miracle or whatever you want to call it we all just have that moment where we just wish that things were just a little bit different you know what i'm saying things were a little bit better you know what i mean a lot of bit better you know what i'm saying I, I, bruh he's speaking i like this i like this This, this is a really deep song, bro. Like, e even just that last little few bit of bars, bro. Like, that, like he's, he's literally just talking about, like, whether you want to call it the government or whatever. But he's, it's more or less just talking about the 1%. The you know what I'm saying? The, the few people who control all the money. Because, like, one thing about taxes that's really weird that, you know, most people know but don't really acknowledge is, like, when you're a person, just a regular person who's working a 9 to 5 and... and getting taxed and everything like you're making your money right getting taxed on it getting given what's left after the taxes have then been taken <laughs> you know what i'm saying and you have to figure out how to survive on that you know whereas corporations are the one percent essentially right like they get to look at it from a whole different perspective it's like yo let me go ahead and spend as much money as i want all year and then i only get taxed on what i have currently available in the bank that you can see because everything else is was an asset or a write-off for whatever business and you know what i'm saying like it's it's crazy man like it's nuts i, I really like this though he's he's talking that ish right here this this right here this this ruffle feathers right here this ruffle feathers okay Keep talking that ish, Oliver. <laughs> I wish politicians would look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks. Woo! He over here. Oh my lord, he went there. Holy, you know, my lord. Y'all know what he's talking about. <laughs> Epstein. <coughs> I mean, uh, <coughs> you know, I'm saying all those people that was hanging out at the Epstein Island. I mean, <coughs> You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoa! Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Yeah. I'm going to let him say it again because we already know. We all we all feel that same way. He's on an island we all somewhere. Think. Lord, we got folks in the street. Ain't got nothing to eat. And the old beast milk and welfare.
Damn shame because he's not lying, bro. Like the whole American welfare system is built to keep people on welfare, not to actually help people get back on their feet and get off of welfare. You know what I'm saying? Like how a lot of countries, there's a lot of countries that their welfare system is, is built in a specific way to actually help people get back to being self-sufficient so that they don't need the government's help, right? And they could be productive members of the community of the of the uh, of the country. You dig? Whereas America, that's not the, that's not how it works here. Okay, it's very very opposite. There's a reason why a lot of people who end up on welfare stay on it because it's super hard to get off of it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just not built for them to to get off, man. It's not built. To to. It's not built to incentivize people to even get off, right? Like there's no incentive to get off of welfare even in America. So, anyways, that's a whole nother fuck. You know what I'm saying? A whole nother guy, you know, what I'm saying? conversation in itself. But he's spitting that truth, that ish, and I dig it. I like this right here, man. I like this like this is that this is like i said this is that ruffle feathers music right here you know what i'm saying this is that i'm gonna let you know how i feel we go we go you know what i'm saying we gonna say what we feel what we be uh take it or leave it i don't care you know what i'm saying that's how you people say people like me people like you wish i could just wake up and it not be true oh. but it is It's so real. Like, he's playing the hell out of that guitar and everything, bro. He's a talented individual, bro. Powerful voice. Super soulful, like I've said before. I've been selling my soul. Dude's amazing. Working all day. Overtime hours. For bullshit pay. For bullshit pay. <laughs> ah, damn. You're singing from the heart, baby. Soul music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, I really like that right there, bro. There's no, there's no if ands, buts about it. Like this is real, bro. This is this was real from the heart, from the soul music right here, man. Like again, if you if you don't like country music or or like the 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 soulful style, you know, music, like you know, I get it. I, it may not just be your style, your vibe, or whatever. But if you just listen to the song, listen to the lyrics, man, you're like you go you go relate. It's relatable music right here, bro. This is fire, bro. I, I, I appreciate y'all putting me on game. You know what I'm saying? I'll, shout out to Oliver Anthony, man. He's he doing his thing, man. He's making big waves in, in, in the, the YouTube community, in the music industry, in the world. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm sure he's got to be being heard around the world. I mean, I know we know he's American, known Like, you know what I mean? But, uh... Yeah, man, this dude's gonna be very impactful. I I can see it. He's got a he's got a crazy trajectory. So yeah, man, shout out to you guys. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. YouTube's gonna be like, yo, hit that subscribe button thing. It's gonna pop up like right above my head somewhere, and then over there, oh, that way, yeah, that way, some. Phew, it's gonna be like, yo, this video's awesome, and I'll be like, yeah, YouTube, yeah, they know what they doing. You did, you should, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to YouTube. <laughs> I love y'all, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.